be judged. Everyone, Matt V's Movies back for another video, and today we're going to do an unboxing and closer look at the Judge Dredd film um, starring Sylvester Stallone. Uh, this was a Spanish um, limited edition Blu-ray set that came out and uh, yeah we'll do a bit of a closer look. Just before we uh, take a bit of a closer look at this, just to give you a bit of background, Judge Dredd came out in 1995 and it was rated Certificate 15. Uh, it was an action sci-fi genre and it ran for 1 hour and 36 minutes. Just to give you a brief summary of the film. In the year 2139, a judge is wrongly framed for a murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. His mentors inform him that he needs to stop a former judge from creating chaos in the society. The release date in America was the 30th of June 1995 and it was directed by Danny Cannon. It stars Sylvester Stallone, Armand Asante, Diane Lane, Rob Schneider, Joan Chen, Jurgen Proknov, Max von Sydow. The music by was Alan Silvestri, and the budget for the film was between eighty-five and ninety million dollars. Okay, so let's get into this. I say this was a. I picked this up on uh, Amazon. Um, came through from Spain. Took about a week to get here, but uh, yeah, it's uh, a bit unusual. So, got a nice uh, cover on the front there. It's like a glossy sort of finish to it. And on the back, we've got the uh, tech specs and. Uh, a little bit about the film, obviously that's in Spanish. Um, and also, we've got some embossing on the uh, sort of the helmet area there, that's quite nice. And uh, embossing on the title as well. Uh, title's that way around, no embossing there. It's quite nice, got the little badge there and there. So, I think... The way to get into this, yeah, I'll come back in a second because it's uh, you've got to sort of take this out, so it's like a, a sealed box. So just bear with me a minute. Okay, so I've opened it up. Not overly happy with the design of this. I mean, over time you can get quite a lot of shelf wear on this opening and closing this. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I was hoping it would be a slip box, but there we go. So let's get the uh, inside. Uh, we've got the art cards. Okay, so we'll look at the art cards in a sec. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yeah, got another art card. Okay, so yeah, it's just um, like a box. Now, they did something similar with the Batman Begins um, editions. I think it was the UK and... Um, the US, it was like a sealed box like this, and uh, it probably would have been better if it had just been like an open slip box, to be honest. Because, like I say, you're going to get a lot of shelf wear on this, this is going to get creased over time. But there we go, that's the design choice they went with. Okay, so we've got the um, Amaray edition here, and it's a nice slim box. Okay, we've got some different artwork on the back there. So we've got Judge Dredd uh, with the helmet on. And uh, Diane Lane. Dredd on his bike. And the uh, one of the robots that's in the film. Now obviously all of this is in Spanish. Um, but uh, tech specs down the bottom. So we open it up. And we've just got a single disc there. Um... So yeah, nice edition. Um, nice. There's no logos or anything like that on there. You know, sort of um, 
certification like you get on the German ones. So it's nice that it's sort of clear of that. So yeah, nice, nice addition. Okay, so on to the art cards. A nice glossy uh, image there. Nothing on the back of there. I've not seen this film for many years. Uh, I remember enjoying it. I don't think it's that faithful to the comics. I mean, I'm not a really uh, big sort of comic book reader, but uh, I think uh, it wasn't as faithful to the uh, comics as I think a lot of the fans would have hoped. But uh, it's still an enjoyable film. I mean, whatever um, Stallone does, it's usually you know, entertaining films. I think obviously he does take his helmet off in this film, which uh, they, um, they sort of avoided doing in the uh, the the dread um, film that we got in two thousand and twelve. I think it was. So so yeah. yeah, it's got some nice art cards there with this release. That's the MRA and the box. I say the only thing I would change a little bit about this is just, you know, just having a slip box, not that sort of open and close sort of affair that we've got. Um, obviously, that's prone to shelf wear, but um, but nonetheless, a really nice release. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye now.